Dan. Danan. Dan. Danan. Dan. Danan. 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 Dan. Danan. 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 <laughs> Hello all you horror freaks out there. This is the strange monkey. Come here. <laughs> oh my god, that's so tired. Oh my god. It's the blooper right there. Hey you horror freaks, international superstar Moby Lee with no shirt on. Some gum fell out of his mouth, but he went away to flush it down. I can do that voice too. Why do I sound like this? Sounds so raspy. I'm stalling until he can come back. I'm gonna go behind the camera. <laughs> International yeah, that's superstar Moby Lee. How's it going? It locks your throat. It'll go like that. And it's very strange. Like that? Yeah, like that. How, how the heck did you just put it on a screen like that? That was crazy. I meant what? You put it on a screen just now. I put it on a screen. This is, we're cutting this out. Oh, okay, okay. It gets pretty dark in this film. And I'm not talking about, you know, light and dark if we turn off the light. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. That defeats the purpose of the backdrop. I'm cutting that part off. Okay. A few moments where, like, you thought you figured it out, and they completely changed. They tricked you. Like, ha! Tables have turned. Anyways, guys. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Is ah, are, you trying, are you possessed? Ah, what happened to you? What's going on? Welcome back to Strange Monkey Reviews, ladies. Oh wait, no. Actually, <laughs> you know what? Let's do the thing that we said we were gonna do. Uh, <laughs> you go first. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Death Breath and I do spoiler reviews and sometimes celebrity interviews and, and here we go, we're about to record and we're about to do a crazy... <laughs> I'm leaving this in. One, two, three, get down! Make sure my thunderbolts look good, man. <laughs> I was gonna do my that. I was gonna... I was gonna do that. I wanna do like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I had to, I had to get rid of, my, I had to fix my thunderbolts, man. What the fuck? All right. But unfortunately, in my opinion, that's where things started getting ridiculous. He traveled. You know, you see where I'm. You see where I'm going with this? This is starting to get out of control. All I know is this: that is not a fucking weapon. All I know is this. That is not a fucking leprechaun. I can explain this. The fact that this will be a sequel to the first one is great, because I love the first one. You know, it's fun, it's just, you know, it's a nice... It's fun, it's got a perfect blend of comedy and horror. Hey, all you horror freaks out there, this is the Strange Monkey coming at you with some horror movie reviews. Look. Take two. They start taking her belongings away. She gets defensive, like most people would, when you're held against your will and you don't know what the hell to do. That's when things get interesting. Is my finger real? Is there really a nail through my finger? Or is it? Is there really a nail through my finger? It could be all in your imagination. The performances... The performances here were pretty top-notch. 
especially the two lead characters. All of the characters blend together perfectly. It is I, the strange monkey. And I have been asked... Uh, already I'm fucking it up. I have... You know, there were people fucking cutting the grass just moments ago. Who the fuck cuts their grass at midnight? I need somebody to explain that to me. <laughs> he went furaz. What the hell is a fura? A fura. <laughs> you may remember him from the Alien Covenant review, the, the greatest movie of all time. No. No? no? Okay, no. okay. All right, so we're back with... Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Buster Rhymes goes in there. He tries to dress up like Michael. He, he killer shot. He, he, what? Michael Myers is a killer shark. Baggy ass overalls. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Basically. You watched the alternative ending? Yes, I did. Oh There's several alternative endings where they choke him and uh, the girl fucking uses an axe and chops him in the face. And he's like, you ball busting, banging ass chick. God bless you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another three from the grave video. You know, your favorite horror group on YouTube. Welcome to another Three from the Grave video. Welcome to another Three from the Grave episode. You know, your favorite horror group on YouTube and whatnot. Well, we have a... Well, allow me to introduce you to our... And she lets them know, hey, I killed someone, so yeah, come and get me. They arrest her years later, her daughter goes to Rome, I, I think, that she's, you know, in, in Italy or whatever, and, uh... Yeah. Alright, Moby, so now I got a question for you, good sir. Okay, I'll put my phone down and, and uh... Alright. No, hope. say it again. Oh. Alright, Moby, would you say that it's one of the best found footage films ever? I would say it is the best found footage. Found footage hey it's, it's all good it's all good i also agree now you know these days there are a lot of people talking about how we don't really have a lot of strong female leads and it's nice to, to get more of that you know this whole female empowerment thing in hollywood i'm thinking to myself what the hell are you talking about how could you forget the iconic sigourney weaver's character it, how could you forget how could you forget the iconic Ellen Ripley, the OG, okay, the badass who kicked everyone's ass in this film? How could you forget the iconic Ellen Ripley, one of the most badass female characters in history? 